In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We are before the Lord. And we came to say thank you for being nice to us, for being a good father. God has really given us all that is necessary for us to struggle through. Especially the memorial we are celebrating today. For me, it's a wonderful gift to the whole world, St. Monica. I have my biological mother, but she is my special spiritual mother. A mother that is consistent. A mother that is committed. A mother that cares and knows what it takes to look after children, irrespective of their age. That's the mother that I love. So my brothers and sisters, to celebrate these sacred banquets, let us pause a while and pray for mothers. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. I'm praying for you, whatever intention you have in mind for coming around for this Mass. That is my intention. O oh God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of our son of St. Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the graces of your pardon. We make this prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of Ecclesiasticals. The beauty of a good wife is a well-kept house, is like the rising sun. Happy the husband of a really good wife. The number of his days will be doubled. A perfect wife is the joy of her husband. He will live out the years of his life in peace. A good wife is the best of portions reserved for those who fear the Lord. Rich or poor, they will be glad of heart, cheerful of face. Whatever the season, the grace of a wife will charm her husband. Her accomplishment will make him stronger. A silent wife is a gift from the Lord. No price can put on a well-trained character. The modest wife is a boon to twice over. A chaste character cannot be weighed on scales. Like the sun rising over the mountains of the Lord is the beauty of a good wife in a well-kept house. This is the word of the, word, the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. O Lord, my heart is not proud nor haughty in my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, no marvels beyond me. Truly I have set my soul in silence and peace, a weird child on its mother's breast. Even so is my soul, 
Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. O Israel, hope in the Lord both now and forever. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went to a town called Nain, accompanied by his disciples and a great number of people. When he was near the gate of the town, it happened that a dead man was being carried out for burial, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a considerable number of the townspeople were with her. When the Lord saw her, he felt sorry for her. Don't cry, he said. Then he went up and put his hand on the bier, and the bearers stood still, and he said, Young man, I tell you, get up. And the dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Everyone was filled with awe and praised God, saying, A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. And this opinion of him is spread throughout Judea and all over the countryside. This is the gospel of the Lord. I have a friend, a bosom friend for that matter, and I'm always from time to time visit them when I'm on home on holidays. And anytime I find myself in their family, it's always a busy moment. The wife will try to provide all that is available for me. So in one of the errands of preparing for Father Jude to have a better meal, he left the sitting room and I was alone with the husband. And I just used the opportunity and said, James, do you know you have a wonderful wife? He just look at me. Father, do you mean what you are saying? I say, yes, you have a wonderful wife. Well, you can imagine the other words that I would not like to say. His response to whom his wife is. But his response was not the one that is wonderful. Say, my, my wife is so good outside. But within the house, is something else. So some people said, my wife is an angel outside. They become a tiger in the house. I look at this and also compare Monica, my mom, good mother, and begin to imagine, is Monica a, a tiger or a lamb? or a true wife of the first reading of today. Sometimes I'll be hearing people saying, I can't be patient with him, he's a drunkard. And he wants to extend his argument. Oh, it's from his parents. And that is why I left home. 
And that's why he left to the husband. And I begin to imagine and said, is this person aware of the kind of husband Monica has or had? The husband of Monica was a pagan. Re pagan, arch one. You know, sometimes we believe that in Europe you don't have pagans. We who are from, coming from all the way from South Africa. Everybody here is Christian. But then we know them by their fruits. And this man was really a thorn in the flesh to the wife, Monica. And not only a thorn in the flesh as a husband, he got a replica of himself in the son. St. Augustine was exactly like the husband, even worse than the husband. And this woman was patient enough. She taught me how to pray. She schooled me in such a way that I realized there is power in prayer. She made a very important point in my life, in my formation. That if you want to succeed as a priest, you must be consistent. And that if you want to know the word commitment and subsistency in life of Christian, go to St. Monica. You will find it there. And it is not easy. Finally, she taught me also that it's not easy to make a mark. For you to make a mark in this world, you have to go undergo a lot of difficulties, transformation. And you must allow those things to come into your life. And that's where you will have a good wife. At the end, I told my friend who said his wife what he said. I said, can you tell me who is really your friend? He said, Father, what do you mean? I said, can you tell me who is really your friend? He said, yeah, well, <laughs> it seems to be my wife. Sure. I said, you got it right. For marriage to begin, it starts from friendship. There's no marriage outside friendship. And without friendship, there's no marriage. But unfortunately, when we start living the life of marriage life, we forget this aspect of, the, of marriage life, the foundation of friendship. We love one another and say, now we can live together. Friendship means that we now stop calling names to one another. Friendship means that we start picking one another's words. You are this, you are that. You are tiger in the house while you are lamb outside. That is not the word for marriage life. And my friend was very shocked. I say a true friend is one who knows everything about you, but he still loves you. Your wife knows everything about you, but is still in this house taking care of you. How I wish you would love her that way. Today is a day I deem it right to pray for those who are sick. 
not physical sickness, but like Augustine. Those of us who are sick because of uh, so many attitude of life, that God will give us healing in this mass. Prayer of the Faithful. Celebrating the marvels which God perfected in the mother of Jesus and our mother for the Holy Church that she receive and proclaim the word of God and in the sacrament of the anointing of the sick be a sign of salvation and hope for the infirm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all Christians that imitating Mary they dedicate themselves with diligence in serving one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer in body and spirit, that they experience the maternal presence of Mary, consoler of the afflicted, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all confined in hospitals, that they be cared for with humanity, affection, and concern, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our communities, that they be cared for with humanity. For all our communities, that they discover the profound value of the mystery of redemption, which is manifest in those who suffer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us here present, for those in our families who are ill, that through the intercession of Mary, they may attain perfect health of soul and body. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This is a moment to pray for that stubborn child God has given you, especially at this ground, the ground where a mother that cares appears to the whole world to bring peace. Can you bow your head now and pray for that child? Mother, you are so good, caring for the whole world. We call you to come and assist different families who are undergoing a lot of torture because of the children you have given to them. As we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, God is through. Blessed the fruit of them. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all sinners, now and the hour of our death. Almighty God, full of goodness and mercy, you were pleased with Mary's willingness to become the mother of your son. You taught her to be continuously at the service of those in need. Give us the graces to imitate her in every moment of our life. We make this prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On the sacrament of which shall fall upon the ground and die, it remains but a single grain with no
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God if at all mighty. Lord, I shall be sacrificed for your hands. Amen. We bring you this sacrificial gift to the Lord to commemorate Blessed Monica, humbly entreating that they may be bestowed on us both pardon and salvation. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, who is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the companies of, of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. And by the way of life, you offered us an example. By a companion with them, you give us a companionship, and by their own intercession, show support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win them in the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. So with the angels and archangels, with the great multitudes of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise without end, we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, giving times, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your day to Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him with him. 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that we will done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin. Save from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to each other God's sign of peace. peace Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Oh God, take away the sins. Grant us peace. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ. Behold the one that takes away the sins of the world. Happy all of us who are called to his banquet. Lord, I'm not worthy that you enter on my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be church gather today longing for peace our world is troubled longing for hope many despair your word alone has power to save us make us your living voice Christ be Christ be our light. 
walls made of living stone. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant who travels in search of a fine pearls, and who, on finding one of great price, sold everything and bought it. Let us pray. May the walking of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God for this feast day of Blessed St. Monica, that we may be ever fervent in holy desires and bound in good works. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We now bless the religious objects that you want to be blessed. Heavenly Father, we pray that you bless these sacramentals your children are holding in their hands through the intercession of our Blessed Mother and Saint Monica. May they be a sign of transformation and a change of life, discovering whom you are and why you have called us to share in your mission of salvation. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We're coming to an end of this Mass. Remember the theme of this mass, a good wife. And it takes lots to be a good wife. You need to sacrifice, you need to suffer in order to make a mark that when your children grow up, they will continue to say, thank you, mama. You did well. Well done, good job. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. This mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave.
children.